That's mm. what we'll be missing out on. Yeah. Because we were stolen from Africa. Mm. Brought to America. America. But we didn't we didn't forgot who we are. We, we you know what I'm saying? We didn't took on somebody else's no. ways and we, we you know we got to let go and get back. Welcome back to another episode of Yummy Bites TV. Y'all, today we are eating Somali food. <sighs> Y'all, I'm so excited. Like, <laughs> I'm so excited. We have Sambusa. <laughs> Y'all, we just have a medley of foods here. We have spinach. We have fish in there. We have chicken, beef, um, peppers and onions and rice in there. We have this sauce that we love so much last time we had this food um it's like a um i can't even explain it y'all but it's good we have fresh mango juice uh-huh yes y'all we have banana i wanted to get it because it's tradition y'all we didn't really too much like it last time like mixed with the food but i got it anyway we got this beautiful bread that they make fresh y'all fresh bread um, and we have some salmon right here. Thank you, Lord, for this delicious food. <clears throat> bless the preparers of the food. Bless us and bless the food, Lord, and as well as bless the world. Amen. Amen. Now, you know we're supposed to be eating with our hands. You tear the bread off like so. Ooh, I mean, you can, you can, you know what I'm saying? You can do what you want to do. I always yeah. want, this is like, I call this Jesus bread, you know what I'm saying? You, <laughs> <laughs> Here, we're going to give y'all some first. I believe this is the chicken, possibly, I don't know. I like this uh, spicy sauce right here, though. It's so good. Remember that sauce we had last time? Um, it was like a sweet sauce. Mm -mm. It was like a dark sweet sauce. <clears throat> we didn't have it this time, y'all. I was so upset. It's mm. pretty doggone good. <clears throat> Boys can't lie. Mm. It was lime jam. I just want to use everything that gave us. Everything. Mm. What is this? Spanish or something? Mm -hmm. Y'all let us know in the comments, have y'all ever had Somali food? Or, or should I say cuisine? Because honey. Mm -mm. You don't like onions? Onions are so good. Look at these peppers. Mm-hmm. Y'all, I could not see myself eating no burger today. I just, I didn't want it. You know what I'm saying? I wanted somebody's home-cooked food. If I wasn't going to cook, I wanted somebody else's home-cooked food. I really didn't want no burger either. You know what I know. <clears throat> I was going to cook um, some um, chicken pot pie, but... 
I don't know. I just I just thought this would be more interesting. Mmm. Mm-mm. Let me taste the salmon over here. Let me put some of this lime over there. Oh yeah. Oh yes. Oh my goodness. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. We say it's peach? Mango. Oh. That's Remember good. last time we had the papaya okay, and it didn't taste like nothing? Yeah, I like that. <clears throat> yeah. It's mango. What are these? Mimosas? Proposals? What is this? <laughs> Samosas, goo ball. Mango. Speaking about the motherland. Speaking about okay. the motherland. Tell them about it. Mmm. Mmm. This is how you're supposed to eat. Straight up. Not processed. Fresh. You know what I want to do? Mm. It'll probably never happen. What? But if I could, I want to go to mm. a party. In the jungle, where with my ancestors. Did you say uh, the jungle? With the barefooted, with the stomping and the chants, and it'd be um, somebody with the drum, and it'd be out there, and everybody getting loose all night. You are so good. <laughs> Not for real, you know. And somebody being boom, 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 boom. I bet the drum didn't never stop all night. And I bet you. If and you they had just a sitting there stomping and just. Look, I bet boy, it was going down. I bet you. If he had a chance, he would not go. Mm, I would. I would. <laughs> I bring me a barbecue pit and some and a pot with some grease. <laughs> chicken for everybody, barbecuing and frying chicken for everybody mm -hmm. on me. You are good. <laughs> you wouldn't want to um, partake in one of them all day, all night festivals. I not in the jungle. I got to be honest. Well, no. maybe not in the jungle. I'm just being funny. I'm but too you know, scared. out there, what I'm trying to say is, like our ancestors used to live in nature. Mm -hmm. You know, in the floors of dirt. The houses are made of sticks and mud or whatever. Uh -huh. If it was safe, I would. <laughs> Most definitely. I'm too Americanized at this point. Like, yo, something's whatever I just ate is tremendous. What is this? <laughs> I don't even know what I just ate. I think it was this. Sambusa. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow. Hold up, cuz. Yep. Now I got to cut the fish. I can't. Mm. Uh oh. That's a big piece of chicken. Oh. Mm. I think I'm eating too fast. I'm so excited. Oh. My goodness. Help me a little bit. Mm. Mm. Mm hmm mm hmm mm hmm I'm gonna taste this beef. Mm, all them onions and peppers, y'all. Look at that. Taste one of my sambucas. I wouldn't say sambuca. They used to be the name of this place that we used to go to downtown. <laughs> we went one time, remember? I don't mm -hmm. remember nothing, huh? A Valentine's goofball. I don't remember. I am supposed to remember the name of the place. How many years ago was that? Yeah, it's like um. <clears throat> I don't like downtown. I'm a country boy. It's too fancy pants down there. You know, mm. everybody's just a snooty ass. I don't like downtown. Everybody is not snooty. I mean, it's just a different ass. There's a lot of that out there. 
Not really, because yeah. Fort Ward and Fire Ward is right downtown. This, but that ain't downtown. That's not what I'm talking about. That's the hood, which feels like Louisiana a lot. Side note, but anyway, all the streets of downtown is one way. Well, you come from the country and go down yeah. out there and get yourself you killed. You get lost. You get yourself killed going up a one way or something. You know what I'm saying? We ain't used to that. A total one way street. You can't even turn up it. What? Lord have mercy. I curse downtown. <laughs> it's like they just pureed mango and put it in here. Yeah, that's some good mango. So what is all of this? Is this different from over here? What we got going on? All this chicken know. over here? I really don't. Just I like to know when I'm grabbing. You, you know, know what I'm saying? saying? It's beef and chicken. Okay. It's one of the two. It's just it's two <laughs> different kind of meats. Yeah, I thought there was fish in here too, but I think he might have put the fish in here. Mm. Oh, fish. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So we have that's a different fish than that. Mm. Wow. That's some good food. I would love to eat like this every day. Well, you know you're putting some good in your body. So all this is healthy? What are you trying to say? Is that... I know it's healthier than fast food. Yeah. Mm. Like, how is it prepared? I wonder. Like, is it like a fajita toss with the, you know, just the meat and vegetables? Toss it like, you know, like you would cook fajitas? I doubt it. I'd like to see them throw it down. I know, huh? Man, that was so good. I know I ate fast. What you for? Already. But it's so good, I'm not going to stop. I got to eat me another one of these. Come on, all. Here you go, Bob. Mm. Did I even turn the mic on? I hope you did. Oh, my. F oh, no. <laughs> Why are you looking up there? <laughs> It reminds me of them. What? Yeah. But it's not as aromatic Indian food. <laughs> yeah. That's and that's the same thing. I'm like, that's what I'm having in my mind. I'm like battling, mm -hmm. feeling like I'm eating Indian food, but I'm, I have to keep reminding myself mm -hmm. I'm eating Somali food. I swear I keep saying it to myself in my mind. Somali. Yeah. Yep. You know what I'm I was so used to calling this Somalian food. Well, I was corrected. <clears throat> yeah. I love, love this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow. What's the name of this restaurant? I'll put it in the title. Is it something that you can pronounce? Um, yeah. Let's start with an S. Um... Mm. Yeah, but what you had like an extra stomach, like a cow. You be like, shit, man, I'm full, but this food is good. Let me put this. Let me shift this over here for later on. I'm definitely gonna be eating some more of this later. You at least need two pieces of this bread, y'all. Don't get one. Yeah, I got full off of one. Don't listen to. Her. The last time you was wanting another one, remember? I can't. Really? I ain't no more bread. Mm. Mm. Wow. 
I need something to do because if I, I, you know, I'm about to start eating again. <laughs> and I don't need to. You really are disciplined. What? Yeah. With your eating. Yeah, you can't just sit there and eat yourself into a, a uncomfortable position and then you... <clears throat> hey, that was good. <laughs> it's wonderful how the body works. You know what I'm saying? You feel a little full of you know, the body gonna let that gas out and then bow. You right back to feeling great. Mmm. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, they look good right there. Mm. I'm not full yet, just in case anybody's wondering. <clears throat> Take care of your business. I'm just not. I like the red highlighted, uh. Thank you. Yeah. Mm. No. No. Talking about that. <clears throat> huh? Can you still have something? You're blurry. Do what? I said, can you scoop a little bit? You're blurry. Yeah. In the camera. Um. Tell them about last night. What happened last night? Oh, about that. Now, because remember when I turned my phone, I don't know what that was. So you don't think it was a When a I turned phone? my phone, then it moved. So obviously it was something going on. Maybe with the case or something. I don't know. Mm. <clears throat> now, I had went outside to put the trash out like 5 in the morning. And the moon, it seemed misshapen as I walked outside. And I'm looking at it through the trees out the corner of my eyes. It seemed misshapen. And I, I had to step to the side and look at it. And it seemed misshapen because it had like this blue glow going on with it. It did have a blue glow. It was, yeah, it, it was definitely. definitely glowing blue. And I'm like, man, it's tripped out. So I pull out my camera to record it. And then when I'm looking at it through the camera, I see this oval-shaped object, like, above it. But it looked eyes just like see. a UFO, y'all. It was just oval-shaped. Really you know I don't know what that was. But then I came back to record. When you said I was supposed to turn the camera sideways, I'm right. like, yeah. Uh, so I went back to do that, and it moved when I turned the camera. So, yeah, false alarm. He got me up all out my sleep. Yeah. <clears throat> ain't gonna be long. They gonna start showing they sell. Yeah, I know. Yeah, ain't gonna be they long. They already have. I'm talking about showing, showing. Like, just sitting there, popping up and sitting there. You know what I'm saying? Knocking like, at the door. Like, sitting, sitting. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? All eyes on me type of. <clears throat> now, what was you telling me? Oh yeah, about the um, what was it, an earthquake? Oh yeah, it was. Yeah, they had an earthquake in uh, Croatia. That's in Europe somewhere. I don't think I've ever heard of an uh, earthquake in Europe. Well, since you ain't doing that, and you got your phone, can we get some details? I mean, we had a. It was a six point five earthquake hit in uh, Croatia. Uh, you know, it's about how you know. What's how, the highest? How much detail you want? What's the what's the height? Well, no confirmed deaths as of yet. Oh, well, good. <clears throat> but you know they still got to dig. Pe you know I'm sure. Yeah, no unconfirmed because they ain't dug people out yet. Mm. 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 Croatia earthquake details. Magnitude 6.4 <clears throat> affected countries, Bosnia, uh, and Herzegovina, hold on, uh, Herzegovina, Govi, Herz, Herz, yeah, them boys, hers got hit too. Yep. CZ, how do you, check Czechia, yeah, they all got hit over there, Germany, Hungary, Italy, Rome, hold up, Europeans got shit good, bro. Romania, Slovakia, Slo yeah, Slovakia, Austria, Serbia. Wow, all of them. Yeah, all the fault lines gonna shake. This world gonna quake like it ain't ever quaked before. Gonna be in for a rough ride. That's why we're seeing earthquakes in places where you've never seen them before. Right. You know? 
Hopefully, all these volcanoes, that I had all these don't volcanoes come true. be coming active. Of course, it's coming true. It was a premonition. That dream she had was a premonition of the, when the New Madrid fault line, when they have a major earthquake there, it's going to cause the Mississippi and all of that to, to overflow and widen, and uh, Louisiana going to be underwater, parts of Texas are going to be underwater. Look it up. The, the Navy already has a map of the U.S. drawn up. You can Google it and see exactly what I'm talking about. If you're living in the affected area, I suggest you get the hell out of Dodge. Uh, Cause it's real. They know what's coming. The powers that be know what's coming, mm. and they preparing for it. But they're not, they're not gonna let us know. Another thing, Lovely T made a video about a lot of celebrities selling their shares and stuff to um, <clears throat> like different stuff they have shares in. Like yeah, Oprah sold a bunch of sh yeah, a bunch of people. Yeah, because yeah, all that, you gotta get you gotta turn your money into something that's tangible that's actually worth something. Like a spot in the bunker somewhere, putting in on a big bunk underground. That's what <clears throat> or, or Lovely T has said. She said, are yeah. people getting ready to go to their bunkers? Exactly. And exactly. When the, the, you're getting ready for the system crash. When the system mm -hmm. crash, it don't matter what money you got invested. All you done lost all of that. Mm -hmm. What money you got in the bank, it's gone. You're going to lose everything. It wouldn't a dollar lose its value and it'd be like in some countries. The, the money had got so bad to where it would like take a wheelbarrow full of money to buy a loaf of bread. That's how much the money was what? devalued. You know what I'm saying? We, we like just on the brink of that happening. And then so then the only thing you're going to have a value then is something that was really of value. And it's paper money. These coins, all this stuff is really not valuable to us. You can't eat that. You can't defend yourself with that. You can't build nothing with so that. So gold ain't, wouldn't be worth nothing either. Why people over there trying to buy gold? Gold was important to the gods. You know what I'm saying? Man was made to do the task of the gods, which was toiling for the gold. You know what I'm saying? But that's a whole nother conversation. So that's why man is is placed so much value in gold. We was created to mine the gold. Mm -hmm. But you know, just think about it. Uh, un unless you count like electronics. Like now, right now, with with the technology that we have reacquired. Yeah, there's uses for gold, you know what I'm saying, and like technology and like computers, chips and stuff like that, and you know, uh, satellites and stuff that's you know out there that need protection from radiation. Yeah, mm -hmm. gold is useful for that, but mankind just got to that stage. Gold ain't been useful for nothing for mankind up till now for nothing but what? Jewelry. Why you think it's so valuable? Because it's shiny. I already told y'all, but anyway. Yeah, all of that ain't going to be when the system crash. What, what you going to do with your gold? You can have a wheelbarrow full of gold. You can't do nothing with it. If nobody won't give you something tangible that really means something for it, you don't have nothing. You better get spend all your money on food and water and, and, and tools and stuff. Everything you're going to need to survive outside of the system, independent of going to the store. Imagine if the stores disappear. What you going to do then? So prepare for that. When the stores disappear. Otherwise, oh. otherwise you're going to have to report to these FEMA camps that they already got built. Because you ain't, ain't going to have nothing else, no other choice because you didn't prepare. You didn't listen when, when the warners were trying to let you know. You made a mockery of what they were saying instead of taking heed. You're not going to keep getting warnings. I'm done. <clears throat> Oh my goodness. Well, that's some good peach juice. I'm gonna sit with it's, the ancestors and, and it's not you know. Peach. The, with the elders, I mean, and the ancestors. It's, it, it's, mm. it's not peach though. It's mango. You said peach. Oh. <laughs> you was thinking about last well, night. Yeah, whatever it juice. is. And then, yeah. I yeah, guess we so. had some peach juice last night. It was biggity bomb. Oh my gosh. From Simply, um, the, the brand Simply, is it? Is the brand called Simply, Simply. Lemonade or just yeah. Simply? I don't know. It must be Simply because, you know. Yeah, Simply. They make Simply Lemonade and Simply Peach. Boy, mm. that peach was godly. Yeah, it was so good. Man, that's some good ass juice. Like, it was just, it was. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes just like, it even smelt like peach, y'all. <laughs> like, it was amazing. It was amazing. Come here talking about these juice mine. <laughs> You would have done better than not even say nothing. I was just playing. If something is good and you don't want nobody to mess with it, don't even say nothing about it. Next thing you know, the one that I really, really wanted, 
which was the lemonade raspberry, <clears throat> the, the raspberry lemonade, whatever it was called, y'all. It was almost gone. Did, did you ever taste it? Of course I tasted it. Is it, it. good? It, it must, what? Yeah, it must it's be. It's amazing. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Them the only juices I'm going to mm. start buying. Now on. Um, that is only 12% juice, though. You need to get on I that know, 100%. but it's better than freaking. But well, there's so many 100% options, like your boy. But it is doesn't have. 100%. That's cool, but at least it doesn't have high fructose corn syrup, and at least it's not made from concentrate. Okay? So, excuse me. You know? What happened? Tomorrow I'm taking all the clothes. I think Layla needs to clean out her um, closet. Do you know if she's cleaned her stuff out yet? She did. She I'm did? so proud of her. Yeah. Thank you, God. Yeah, when I put them dresses Where together. is she doing all her clothes? She put them in them new dresses. I said... Did she clean her stuff out or like get rid of stuff she don't wear? Yeah, she threw away so much stuff, yeah. She, she filled oh, she up did? like two trash cans. Yeah. Oh, good. Okay. <clears throat> um, yeah, clutter free. I'm proud of the both of y'all. Y'all give me y'all clutter out y'all life. That's what's up. Yeah, are you next? I don't, I don't <laughs> have no clutter. You're doing that. <laughs> yeah, maybe that one closet. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I got to get in there. Right yeah. All right, what up? Okay. Um, I can't wait to get rid of that car. Oh, my God. I can't freaking wait. I don't know why that's weighing on me, and it's in the garage, but I, it just, it's got to go. Oh, what the hell? I almost, I almost spit this on me. Oh, y'all, I got him some of that Somali tea. Oh, it's good? I drank all of mine when I was waiting on the food. Mm. It's so good. It has ginger, it hell? has eva evaporated milk, and I tea. I love you. Okay. And Wait sugar. a minute. And sugar. I got it. It's amazing. Up. Hold up. Yeah. Mm. I almost cried when I was <laughs> drinking it in my car. I swear to God, I was tearing up. Y'all. I was literally tearing Ooh, and up. It was warm. It, made, it was hot. Oh, I got warm. It was up. hot. Oh, damn. Y'all. I don't know why it made me so emotional. <laughs> is that good? Is it? it made me so emotional. <laughs> Yo, I have never gotten like that. I think I got like that one other time on this channel about something. I can't remember what it was. But when I was in my car, I was, I was just tearing up when I was drinking it. It just felt so homey. And it was like, it's the best tea I have ever had. The best tea I have ever had. Like, I didn't know people put milk in tea. It's, it's genius, y'all. With ginger. Uh, <sighs> ginger. Didn't I tell you about ginger? My mm. goodness. I love that burn. Get it to me. It's like other cultures know about that type of stuff. <laughs> but us American, I mean, some people know, but I don't know. Mm. I ain't good. Man, we gonna have to learn how to uh, make this at yeah, home. I'm gonna start drinking this. <laughs> I was gonna ask him for one of them packages of that um of that ginger that he was using, but I didn't. I'll, I'll call him and ask. Hey, would you watch them mix this together and make it? Yeah. But it was a a, a tea packet. They had already had the tea. Um, it's like a. You know how like you um, like get coffee out of one of those things or whatever? They had yeah. tea, hot tea, and then the evaporated milk, and then that ginger, and then sugar. But instead of sugar, you can use like... He put ginger in there separate from everything else? What did he do? Just put like a little spoon of ginger or something? What? No, it was this package. It was a package of some oh. type of ginger. Yeah. Powdered ginger? Um, it, it wasn't powder. It was... Liquid? Like, no. It was like little pieces. Okay. And I guess it melts in there. Like, oh my gosh. Mm. 
Wow. Yeah, that would be, y'all, that would be perfect, like, in the morning. Like, mm -hmm. you know how y'all drink y'all's coffee? That, in the morning, honey. Y'all. When it's cold outside. Oh, my gosh, when it's cold. When it's cold. Wow. That's what mm. we be missing out on. Yeah. Cause we were stolen from Africa. Mm. Brought to America. America. But we didn't we didn't forgot who we are. We, we you know what I'm saying? We didn't took on somebody else's yeah. ways and we, we you know we got to let go and get back. And I bet you people back then they weren't scared of the jungle. You know what I'm saying? Oh, What'd you say? I'm sure they probably would. You, know. you think they were scared of the jungle? I mean, anything People that got a tiger in or a lion, I'm sure some, you know, unless you like. No, they had to be comfortable. They had to. <laughs> I'm sorry, they had to be comfortable. And people that live out there now, they got to be comfortable. I know they don't be living in fear every day. They couldn't. Some people do. It's like a certain amount of people that get eaten alive every year in uh, Africa. Like, you know. That's 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 horrible to say. Like I, they should take all lines out of the business. They need to go. You cannot eat a man. No, I declare you unfit to roam freely on the face of the earth. Like, are they doing anything for the earth? Lions, yeah, tigers. Man. I mean, yeah, they eat an animal here and there. But hell, we got enough humans on the earth that's that's hungry that need to be fed. We can easily take the place of them lions. Anything that, that's disrespect for the God creation. For them to be running around eating people alive. Are you just kidding me? Who is in charge of the world, bro? That's rule number one. Subdue all the animals that's the threat to us. Didn't God give us, told us to dominate the earth? I don't understand this. Mm, it is. <clears throat> I, th I think this might be some type of yogurt sauce. Like how Indians have. Hmm. <clears throat> This is unlike anything mm -hmm. I ever had. It's like mm -hmm. a mix between. Yeah. Yeah. Those taste so warm and cozy. Spicy and sweet. Do you know what I was going to do? I was going to bring a big old cup. <laughs> and but fill it's... it up. <laughs> yes, because that's, the, that's the, the biggest cup that they have for that. Mm. Yeah, we're gonna have to learn how to make it. Y'all, guess what I ordered? Mm -hmm. I ordered up a whole bunch of um hibiscus, dried hibiscus flowers, y'all, for some sorrel. Y'all, I'm about to make some sorrel, baby. It's about to be on and a pot. I cannot wait. How much you gonna be able to make from that? What? A lot. Uh yes. I didn't even know that the packages were gonna be that big. Yeah, we're gonna have to make that too. You're gonna turn it into a powder and then like dissolve it in the water, or you no, just like it's let like, it soak like tea? You let it soak. You let it soak, and you have to let it soak overnight. Mm. All right. Remember when I used to put um that potpourri in water and boil it, and it just smelled up the whole house. Yeah, Remember? You do mm -hmm. that. Um, well, I don't know if it smells up the whole house. It probably does, huh? It's a flower. Probably so. Yeah. So. Mm. I'm talking about Isn't Mother Nature. Good? I want everything that Mother Nature got for mm -hmm. me. I want it all. She got so many wonderful things. We totally separated from Mother Nature over yep. here with this beast taking all these pharmaceuticals. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep. Mm. Y'all getting back to nature? It's time to get back. Well, I got to hope that I'm waking some people up because it's time, boy. <laughs> They're gonna be like, with the way that y'all eat? <laughs> Not with the words that's coming out of my mouth. I wish I could eat stuff like this every day, like, but something different. Um, you know? You know what we haven't had in a while? What? Jamaican food. Yeah, we, we didn't did that, you know? You I know, what? I'm just saying, we haven't had it in a while. And then we need to go back, you know? That's true, we need something new. And we had, have we had some more food? We've had. But I don't think that, well, you know, I'll check to see if they have some more food um, here in Houston. But ooh, I don't know. You know, there's so many places on, you know. I don't know. Samoan. Hmm. Hawaiian. Have we ever had Hawaiian food? No. 
You know? What about they the Bahamas? A, they have a Hawaiian spot. Bahamas, it, uh, is there we food could have We could go on the Seven Island, Island Cruise. And we could eat from all Ooh, of them. Huh? Seven Island Cruise, y'all. Let's take a Seven trip. Island Cruise of food. Seven Island Food Cruise. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. You know, to do Jamaica, you know, uh, Cancun, you know, Mexico. You know how the mm, boats be stopping mm -hmm. in these different places as well as they be stopping right. in the Caribbean, you know what I'm saying? Y'all remember when I used to tell y'all to pack your bags? We're going to. I used to do that. It used to be so much fun. Oh my gosh. We're going to do that again, y'all. So we're going to do something else tomorrow. What are we going to do? I gotta either find some Samoan food, some Hawaiian food, <clears throat> or what? Samoan, Hawaiian. I mean, you know, first. And you can't change your mind. You gotta start he tomorrow. Be tripping, you ain't gotta start tomorrow. <laughs> Take your time and you figure see? out the seven places first. <laughs> and then figure, once you got all seven, then figure out which one you're gonna do first, second, and third before you even start. That's another thing I was telling the blog when I was getting this food that I want to start preparing for, you know what I'm saying? I want to know what I'm doing before that day. So it won't take so long. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like it'd be taking too long to do a video. It do take a long time. Way, like, it's I don't think ridiculous. that not knowing what you, I don't think that is the hole up. I think that's one of the hole up. I need to edit at night. Move slow Stop it. it I need to, to edit ready. at night. Period. I need to not be doing work on that day. I need to edit. How many night times I didn't tell you that? And how many? I just want to know how many. He always. I just want to know how many. <laughs> you ain't gotta say Shut that. Mm. Anyway, y'all, that's it. That's it, honey. Okay. This is delicious. Yeah, I get these boy two thumbs up. I don't know what the name of it is, but uh, is this what is this? this Somali? Is Somali food. Somali. Somali. Boy. Somali food. Not Ethiopian, Delicious. not Nigerian. No disrespect. Delicious. But get you some Somali. And we had Ethiopian food get already. Some Somali. Remember? Huh? We had that already. Ethiopia with the with that bread. Mm -hmm. that we didn't. It was similar, wasn't it? Was it similar? It was a bit similar. These the are the best ones. These they, they go to the, these. Yeah, this yeah, we, right here. Yeah, we prefer yeah. this one. Um, we did um we did um Nigerian food. You didn't really go deep into it. I did though. Okay, yeah, I don't want to really jump too much off the cliff. <laughs> you know. You see, but you have to. You have to be open to trying stuff. You know, I'm just like I can say I got my open. own style. No matter what culture I go in, it's, I'm the same person. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna mess with some of it. I'm not gonna mess with all yeah, of it. Yeah, you don't have to. You don't have to. But uh, <clears> anyway, y'all. Uh, let us go ahead in this video. We hope that y'all enjoyed what, this video. And what culture that we leaving off that we really should try? Yeah, let us know in the comments. Let Shout us out know. to everybody and their family. Yes, yes. Um, if y'all enjoyed this video, please do what? Thumbs up this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'm going right here, right here, right here. For everyday videos. Everyday videos. Hey, ah, ah, ah. Hey, 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 ah, ah. And we will see you guys on tomorrow. Peace. Y'all come back now. You hear? Bye, y'all.